How's it going guys, it's Starkiller58 here and welcome back to Star Wars Battlefront Commander. Now in the last video we managed to conquer Mintween and stop the Malevolence's production completely and I'm feeling a little bit better, not 100% but oh well. But Anyways we stopped the Malevolence's production line and I've updated the game to version 1.04, I'm going to pause it just so nothing else can talk over me. See so yeah, I've updated the game to 1.04 and it's a good thing that I did wait to, before updating the game because the patch does fix the two malevolences glitch so I'm pretty sure that if I updated it before I took Mintween or at least dealt with the two malevolences my this save would have crashed so it was a good thing that I did wait so there you go but uh, we got a couple new units in this mod not too many in the, the uh, Clone Wars era but we do have one certain new unit that we can produce at Kuat here it is the pride of core. We can actually finally build our version of the Malevolence. We couldn't in previous versions, but now we can. So uh, we're going to put that into production and put it to use in this video. It's going to take some time before it's finished. So let's start with what we said in the last video and remove the blockade over Yavin at last. So we'll send this fleet here quickly. Roger that. We'll send the pride of core along with this fleet which is going to liberate Yavin to Mandalore and we'll capture Mandalore in this video. I'm going to move this ground force actually in range. Okay. So yeah, was a good idea to wait before patching to 1.04. Just clear out this quick blockade. It's not going to take that long. Finally, we'll be able to get the Avon 4 space back. What are your orders? Run away, sir. Roger. Land. Oh, they're jumping. They're probably going to jump before I can even get to them. Enemy sighted. Yep. They go away. Oh well, definitely didn't survive, well stand a chance much. But yes, we'll be going to capture Mandalore and we will use the Pride of Core to help do that along with the fleet here. Construction complete. Actually, why don't we send, where's this coming from, Karida? Where did they come from? Ah uh, yes, they came from, Man. must have come from Mandalore. Oh well, I did step much of a chance. We'll just send this fleet over. Setting course. Well, we need a pathway for the minute for the pride, not the benefits, the pride of core to come through. I wouldn't think that they dare go attack the ground. Construction complete. Okay, but they will come back to Yevon Four. Well, I've got a station there actually. Ah, uh, auto so. There, that's what I thought. <laughs> Quick building of the station there, trying to invade Yavin. They probably won't stand much of a chance. I've got Yavin on lockdown on the ground. But, uh, oh, oh yeah, back to Karida. Again, this shouldn't be too hard to deal with. Awaiting order. to wonder where those laser blasts were coming from. Oh yes, the fighters have been kind of reduced in this patch as well. There's still a lot, but not as ballistic as before. So that's kind of good, at least. Awaiting 
Do I really have only four bombers in total? It's kind of odd. Actually, if, oh wow! We can, in this patch, we can actually see the hard point. Or well, I don't know if it's actually an improvement, but I can see the hard points better since the patch. I wonder if they'll be able to actually hit the shield generator this time. seem to hit the shield generator again. Well, the, they can't with the bombers, but they can with the lasers, which is still odd. The shields seem to be weaker on these ships now, for some reason. There we go, no more hangers at all. Which means we should deal with no more fighters, supposedly. I read you, General. Yes, sir. Yes, General. Yes, sir. Hang around. Don't punch up. Heads up. Droids inbound. Ready to deploy. Warm up. We need help. I've got to destroy the engine. Waiting orders. Sending these to swarm the ships. Oh wow, there was two of those, I didn't even realize. Oh, I must have stopped these units just in front. Alright, it takes care of those. Don't think they'll be foolish enough to hide in the nebula. I am very excited to be using the Pride of Core again. Glad that it came in this mod. I wonder if it can be used in Skirmish too, because I know the other super weapons can. Now they're retreating, even though they can't retreat, because they've got no proper ship. It's only just fighters anyway, and if they do escape, that takes care of that. There, they try to come to Corita. Oh yeah, we can build clone hover tanks as well, I have no idea what these are. Constructing units. I don't think we'll be able to use them for Mandalore, they do seem to... I don't know how long they will take, but we'll be able to use them in the next video to see what they're like. This video, I want to see what the Pride of Core is like. Then will we take it to Mandalore?
construction complete. That's the range. They can get Slukamai from the right asteroids. That it does. Understood. All right. So the pride of core is now in the fleet. Just thinking, what I should do if I should get other ships to help reinforce it. I don't know. Hmm. Don't suppose they can get there from Taurus, can they? Nope. What about from Daphne? Well, they can. So I will just send the fleet from Taurus, as they can't get to anywhere else. Acknowledged. And Ord Mantle was well. Pride of Core moves fast we'll as well. Anywhere, Anyways, right let's see what it's like over Mandalore. Hmm, they got quite a bunch of defenses there. Here we are. The Pride of Core. Looks good in this spot, actually. Ready for your orders. Understood. Nice. In fact, it actually moves fast. What well, faster order? than a super for than a standard super weapon, if that makes sense. Enemy sighted. It feels faster than like the I don't know. I copy. Stay in formation. Crossfire. Encountering resistance. What are your orders? Yeah, but they still got a lot of defenses out there. We're on it, General. We're drawing their fire. Yes, ma'am. I'm in bad shape. Package ready for delivery. All power diverting to weapons. Stop this threat. I've got something. The rest can help escort. Pride of Core isn't as good as the Benevolence, but it should still be worth protecting. Who knows, maybe we'll be able to rebuild it as the Benevolence could be rebuilt after its destruction. I don't know why I didn't ask them to attack the cloak to hang on that's closest. Although the ship, the Pride of course seems to be more powerful than the Republic at War version. Well, I don't know if it's just the escort fleet, but they're tearing apart these ships. Damn, there are our ships just marching forward, tearing them apart. Damn, the pride of core is good. Man, it's just good to use the pride of core again. We need help now, sir. If I can find a weak world, I might just send it on its own to see what it's really like. See, I don't know why the, the torpedoes will not target the shield generator on the, the Luka Hawks. It's really annoying. I hope this does get fixed. I don't know why that is. Can only be hit by lasers for some reason. Ah, uh, 
somewhere. Let's just go towards there, actually. Deal with the station. I'm, the, the approaching ships will be able to deal with it. Oh, it has the fight all batteries as well. For that ship, Jesus. I don't see the use for its tractor beam. Well, obviously. But this is just going to tear apart the ship. It's not in for this ship, it's just sitting there anyway. Oh look, the station's reinforcements, oh yeah. Actually, they got the shield generator on that station, so I'll just order them to focus on the fighters. No need for that. The pride of core get the deal with the station now. Just watch as they try to deal with the approaching doom. Focusing a lot of the fighters this can with that. Are they trying to hit that ship? That's pretty impressive if they are, actually. Good. The Predacore got some good range. Ready for orders. Damn, that is powerful, the firewall batteries blast from this thing. That is really powerful. It's tracked to beam the space station, sure. Why not? These ships can go around, and the fighters can go around for those two escaping cruisers. Feels weird to be tracked to beaming a space station. Oh look, here comes the cruisers again. How oh, nice of them to rejoin the party. I set the pride of corner course past the station. Yeah, let's just tell them to engage. Ah, uh, now they approach it. Nice knowing them. Mm. 
Mandalore will be liberated for the Republic. There was another cruiser nearby, so I'll have to send our forces to find it. I know there's two for the level 5 station, it's the reinforcements. Technically doesn't count as a unit they get to keep if they get away. But oh well, it got away. It actually would be nice if we could actually keep those units. That's a reinforcement. But uh, yeah, anyways. Let's go down to the ground of Mandalore, and I'm going to guess that they don't have much ground defences as usual. Invasion commencing. Oh, they've got quite a lot, but it's all mainly composed of infantry again. Here we go. Mandalore seems darker than usual. My tactic currently is to call in the gunships, just get to the to control the other three landing zones as quickly as possible. Hover tanks are quite fast, so they could just quickly spread out as well. Clones keep the scrap merchants busy. Let's go. We're proud to serve you, General. I'll keep one clone back as well. Keep this force back, try and actually, yeah, to use it to secure this landing zone just in case bad stuff happens. Enemy sighted. Is it the Mandalorians? It's the droid and the Mandalorians. Yeah, then we have to always forget that the Mandalorians are neutral. There's droids approaching here, this ain't good. Losing is not an option. You're not gonna like the outcome. Keep the clones up in this one, actually. Never surrender. One shot, one kill. Nothing deadlier than a clone behind the trigger. General. Alright. Droids here are down, securing this landing zone. Landing zones are secure, bringing down the walkers to this landing zone. Reinforcements en route. We can get our force closer. Up into the oh. Don't know why they moved away. Fools. Choose your reinforcements. Choose your reinforcements. At maximum unit capacity. Bombardment available. Ready. Rolling out. Right there, so that's right there. Constructing. Frosty. Prepare to engage the enemy. We've secured Let's move the landing on. zone. General. Copy that. We're ready for battle, sir. Get okay, that force moving because they're going to be quite slow. I'm going to guess. Move out, men. Now we can Choose spread out forces more. Can't get any more troops, that's a shame, so. Never give up. We'll follow you anywhere, sir. I'll just send that gunship to find the other Mandalorians, I guess. Clones keep the scrap merchants busy. We're proud to serve you, General. The only good clanker is a wrecked clanker. Our position is secure. We need to stop the Mandalorians from we getting more power. Now. Quickly. Negotiate with droids. Copy that, General. Moving to position. Moving. This battle isn't over until we've scrapped the last clanker. 
yes, the droid base up in the main city-ish area. Super battle droids. I don't think we've actually seen them much. They seem to be upgrading in ground defences, but not too much. I have a vague idea of where all the structures are, because if you look at the minimap and see stuff like here, or if you look on the minimap, you can just see like small dots, darkened dots, that typically means there's some sort of structure there. Looks like there's one over here, darkened dot, oh no, it's just a refining thing. So over here, looks like there's a darkened dot here, or it's just a f abandoned factory. Don't typically need those, I think. Let's just get an AA gun here, why not? I wish the mod updated so that the Mandalorian AIs are more of Death Watch and that, you know? Uh, that's the main droid structure that our walker managed to get, at least. I still think that it should be a little bit faster, these ones. Like, if you've seen the Clone Wars mod, that I would see like, like that's the standard speed of them. What? The gunship cannot get past? Really? I mean, it's a flying unit. That sucks. It can't get past. God damn, these tanks nearly died because they couldn't know how to get up. Moving out. Charge. Right away. Order acknowledged. Just trying to f matter of finding of all these structures. Heading More Mandalorians. Watch the rear. Never give up. Alright, there's more We're super battle droids heading this there. way. Right away, General. Clones keep the scrap merchants. Affirmative. We're proud to serve you, General. Copy that, General. We're proud to serve you, General. Something down this way. I don't know what though. The only good clanker is a wrecked. Clanker. Can't seem to get my infantry in bunkers most of the time. Position is secure. We do our job well. You can't negotiate with droids. This battle isn't over until we've scrapped the last clanker. I'm sending gunships on patrol. I can't find out where the remaining of their forces are. Our position is secure. I'm trying to turn this round just so that the front can get a good shot. Here. There we go. Oh, there they are. There's the remaining droids. Let's move out. Never surrender. Road to that. Scanning target. Okay, at least the Mandalorians have been dealt with. Awaiting orders. Let's go. Keep going. We there we go. Us. I do wish that the Separatist AI would be better at ground defense. I mean, they do actually do stuff, but they don't build their ground bases. They always focus on space. Heavily on space. But anyway, this means You're Mandalorian. Ma Mandalorian. Mandalore has been captured itself, so we're going to end this video here. So thank you guys for watching. I'm Sadar Kid of Now don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video where we'll take another world using the Pride of Core. I don't know. Maybe take these two worlds up here, begin to work our way down. So, uh, yeah, anyways, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you then. May the Force be with you. Goodbye.